Hello everybody. This is Connie again with CJ's Handmade. Um, I'm getting ready to work on that baby quilt that's made out of um, baby clothes. So I think what I'm going to do is just kind of turn the screen so you can see what I'm doing with the stuff. And um, then if you have any questions, just let me know. So I'm going to try to get this set up here for a moment. We'll see how this works. Hopefully that works. It's a very awkward place for the computer to be. Let me um, get on here and see if I can... There we go. Alrighty, I'm going to set this right here so I can see if anybody says anything. So anyway, um, like I said, I'm getting ready to work, starting to work on this baby quilt and there are all kinds of clothes in here. So I'm just going to kind of show you what I do. In this case, I've got a six and a half inch ruler. Um, I wanted something a pinch smaller, but I'm unable to find it right now. So this is the smallest thing I have, but I think if I really work tight enough, I'll be able to get what I need out of it. So what I do is I just position my fabrics or my ruler so that I can try to get as much out of it as I can. This was a pair of fleece pants. So I just cut it up that edge or the uh, center seam, the crotch area, and then opened it up because there's no side seams. I'm going to try to avoid as many seams as I can, but I may not be able to do that through the entire thing. So anyway, what I do is just I do a rough cut in the beginning. Um, just to get halfway close to what I need because I have to stabilize all of the fabrics with an interfacing. And if I don't do that, then they will start to stretch when I sew. So I cut it just a little bit bigger than my ruler so it gives me a little wiggle room. Just like that. So it's a little bit bigger than the six and a half inches. I also had one pair. I was able to get the bottoms. Let's see. I had a little E on the bottom of these little, um, oh, for Pete's sake, I can't even think of the name of them. The little bottom, you know, the little, <laughs> why can't I think of the name of it? The little poofy pants that the little girls wear under their dresses. My mind has gone blank. But anyway, on the rear end of them, there was this embroidered E. So I managed to get that out of it. So I set that over in my pile. But then there's also this cute little eyelet lace. So I think what I'm going to do is I'll put this on top of another piece of white fabric so that we can use this little piece of lace. And uh, so I'll set that over there. So now I'm going to see if I can get another. It's going to be tight, but I, I'm going to try to go ahead and get another piece out of it. If I have to trim things down a little bit to make them work better, then, you know, it's just something I'll have to do. I think I'm going to cut from the bottom first on this one. Whenever you're cutting with a rotary cutter, make sure that you are very careful. A couple of years ago, I was cutting fat quarters out of yardage. And I was just laying it up there and zipping right across that ruler. And I was using one of these long rulers. And um, although it didn't have a handle on it, and my hand was on there, and apparently my cutter was not on the fabric, it was on the ruler itself. And I zipped across there, and I don't know if you can even see it or not. If you can see that scar, I nearly cut my finger off. And they said if it wasn't for the acrylic nails, I would have cut it off. So that. That was a little less than less. Now when I'm working with smaller things, I cut a little slower. And if I cut with big things, I always have the handle on my ruler. And um, so this has a piece of elastic in it, so I'll probably be able to pull that out. And I'll be able to trim out this under piece to keep it from being so thick. And then I'll be able to use that, that square. So now I have another block. Hopefully I can get as many pieces out of this as we can. We're trying to make the biggest quilt we can get out of the entire box. 
See, these are so cute, but it's hard to get them to lay flat. I will try my best, but I don't know that I'll be able to get them to lay flat enough to actually cut a piece out of them. But this has a seam, but the back does not. So I'm going to lay it flat and try to get a seam out of this. I might be able to get more than one block out of this as well. Yeah. So, like I said, I cut it a little bit larger than my block. You have to go through those shoulder seams. There we go. And a little bit bigger. And there we go. So now I'm going to cut that. So there's another block. Sorry, I'm not able to really see that. Range it anymore. I'm afraid my computer's going to flip over if I try to get it. That might help. It's in a very awkward position right now. All right. I think I might be able to get another one out of this. This is pretty easy. Now these, see I really want to use that somehow. I may have to cut it by hand. Right down that seam line. This is the part that takes the longest. Just prepping it and getting it all might be able to applique that onto like another piece of fabric. And I can do that. I can either do it before or after I quilt it, but somehow I'll figure out a way to get that on there. It's just so cute. It just kind of makes those little pajamas pop. So, we will use that foot somewhere, somehow. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut off the other foot, too, because I think we'll be able to do the same thing. So we'll get two out of it. Sometimes it just takes a little bit more work, but, but you can get it all together and it'll... It'll be really adorable when they're done. You know, every time I make one of these, I start putting blocks together, and I think, oh, that's not going to look that great. But when it's done, and it's quilted, and it's completely finished, they always are cute. Always. I don't know that any of them have been ugly so far. Let's see, it's going to snap. We'll open that up and lay it out. It's got a seam in it, but I think we can get a couple blocks out of it, so we're going to go ahead what I'll do is I'll use the blocks that don't have seams first as I'm laying things out. And then if we do need it extra, then we'll use the one with the seam in it. Because there's nothing wrong with them. It's just I try to use the ones without one first. And it's not quite big enough for another block. And then this one is not going to be, I don't think... No, that one's not going to work, so I have to set that one aside. All right, on to the next thing. She's got a whole tub, and they are packed in here. Oh, that's cute. That'll definitely make a block. Oh, dear, it's going to be a bigger block. So I'm going to have to come up with something else to make that work. I just have to get creative. See, it's where I might be able to use a sliver of this with another block to make it bigger so that we have these blocks. All right. And same goes for this. We'll go ahead and save that. Look out the hem. And we'll hang on to it just in case we can use it some other way. 
And I'm going to cut this hem off as well. Because that will be a lot less bulk in the finished item. That's cute. Alright. Cute, cute, cute. I think I just had... Oh, I used a hat and I cut it with this on it. And I did get that out of it. Alright, so... You know, we want to use the bow because it's cute. So we're just going to have to cut it... We'll cut it down the side seam so I'm not cutting through both layers at one time. So we can probably use the piece on the from the back. Cut these sleeves off the rotary. All right. Open up the shoulder. So now, see, it's got these little ruffle or the gathers, so that's going to make it a little bit more difficult. But I think we can get something out of it. We'll figure it out. that. I'll have to quilt around that, but we'll figure it out. Now I'm back here. We will just flatten this out. Let me go ahead and cut it from here. There we go. So it's nice and flat. Oops, I might be able to get two blocks out of this. I just try to cut it a quarter inch or so around the block, rough cut, but enough to know that we've got enough to stabilize it, but at the same time, it won't be overly big. All right, perfect. Another block. And again, watch the fingers. Got that one on the table a little bit. And we have a pink onesie. Oh, that's really cute. Could we use the snap down? We're going to need to if I love that stitching around the edge. get one block for sure. Or one on the front, one on the back. Oh, that's stiff. this little block with that little fancy stitch, the little blanket stitch, because it kind of makes that block even cuter. Now, we also can use the back for an extra block as well, if we need it. Now, we have the bottoms. lot of seams in there. But I could possibly I could attach it to a solid like a white background block. 
so that we can really cut close to the edge. See how it's got this little V here? I can snap this part, but then it's going to have this little, well, come on. Although that pocket is awful close. It's going to cut part of it off in the seam. Hmm. And that snap is going to be too close to that seam. So I don't think that's going to work because that's a lot of bulk in there. And the little arms, I don't think they're going to be wide enough to be able to get a decent sized block out of it. No, it's going to be too small. But I might be able to save and I might be able to add this trim to something. So we'll put it over here in the possibility pile. Alright, so we've got a taggy blanket, an actual taggy, and um, I hate cutting this up because it's a nice square. Hmm. I can't get more than one of the blocks out of it, except for the back, which would not really, I think the front would be the best. So I could stitch it down, or, you know what, I can, I'll applique that on the back. That way we don't mess it up at all. These are going to have to be applique, or not applique, yeah. They're going to have to go onto a solid block, which, like, I will have a piece of, pretend this is just a piece of white fabric that's the right size. So what we're going to do is we will sew it on there because we may need that outer skirt to actually use the seams. So we will sew this on like this. We won't include that Velcro part. Like that. I'll just use a white cotton background or another color if, you know. So and then we won't include the Velcro part on there. That should work out good. So we're just going to put that in a separate pile because the bibs are going to have to all go like that. Here's another bib. And it'll have to go like that too. Let's see what else we got. Milo. All right, so this hopefully will all fit. It'll be close. It'll cut off some of the whiskers on the cat, but I think that'll be okay. So we're going to go ahead and trim that one. And we're also getting a back block, remember. There we go. So it's rough cut. It'll be Milo. And then we have an extra black block if we need it. This one. I love this little outfit. This one will definitely get sewn on top of a piece of white fabric background. Oh, what do you, bloomers. That's what they're called, bloomers. I'm going to come up with it here in a little bit. Let's see. That's too small. All right. So this one has this adorable embroidery all around it. So we're going to have to use, I can probably, if I use that seam, I can probably get more than one block out of it. But I'm going to put it on white fabric so that there it will be hanging, like laying on top of it. So none of this will get included with the seam line. So I'm going to do it this way. that in there. Anyway, so that will give us a nice little square. And we'll just 
applique it onto another block. And with all this fullness, we might be able to press this for a second. Gotta let the iron heat up for a second. All right, then we have more bloomers. So what I do is I cut these up the side. Once you pop that elastic out of there, it will flatten it out. Yeah. Well, that elastic's sewn in, so it's not going to flatten out. Hmm. Yeah, that may not work because it will never lay flat to stitch and it will just curl it up. So that's not going to work. There we go. Lay this a little flatter. Gives us a better idea. We might be able to get two more blocks out of it. I'm going to cut this part off. Cut that off. So now it's laying much flatter. More like a piece of fabric now. And there's a lining under it, so I'll probably end up pulling those out. But I can do that later. So, yes, we can get a much better. Out of it. One, two. All right. There we go. That's going to get applique on as well. We're going to get several of those out of that. And we want this out on some cute fabric. All right, another whimsy. This one's got a zipper in it, which is no problem at all. We can stitch right over that. So I think we're going to get two good blocks out of this because we're going to put one, put the zipper on the front one, and just use the back for a back piece or for a separate block. Voila, we have a block and we have a back block. Okay, we have some more little drawers here. We can probably, back side always has more fabric. But what we might do, I have to do this. Cut right down the middle seam of where it goes across the crotch line. Oh, I'm gonna have to sneeze. Stitch down the opening. <coughs> Excuse me, of the leg. And that will lay that piece of fabric out almost flat. So then we're going to just cut a block out of that. Now, if I wanted to applique that on, we could leave the buttons. But I think we're going to just use it as a block. So there's a block. A lot more fabric in these clothes than you think of. All right, let's open this seam up in this leg. Try not to stab your hand. 
I've already cut my finger or my thumb with a knife this morning in the kitchen. We bought a new sharp knife, and lo and behold, cutting a pineapple, I had to slip and cut my finger. Not too bad, but it did like to just bleed a lot. All right, cut another rough block. Could have got a little closer on this side. There we go. Now, these got these ruffles, which means you got to use them some cute way. So, I'm probably going to cut down the side on either side where those ruffles come on. We're going to rough cut and we will applique these on to another piece of fabric if that's what we have to do to use that ruffle. See how this bows up? So we may just have to do turn that under and just applique them on like a pair of britches. See, we'll have to start down here so we can at least go ahead and cut some of these sides off. Oops, I think these probably her. We'll wait and do those last. I think it's her hospital set. Oh my gosh, look at these tiny little t shirts. Hmm. I'm going to think about that one for a minute. There's some more bibs, which we can do with that applique method on a piece of fabric like we were talking about earlier. Another little tiny one. Little rolled up sleeves. Yeah, some of these I might have to get creative because they're not quite big enough to do what we've already started. Goodness, look at this little tank top. Yeah, we will have to applicate this one on too, but we can do it. Be snug, but we can get two blocks out of that. <clears throat> Couple more of these itty bitty. these right on that seam line. That. We will applique that on a block. Cute little romper. All right, this one we're going to separate the front from the back because on the front we're going to use the front of the top, and on the back we're going to use the the bottom. Although there's no embroidery on the bottom, but that's okay. Myself those pointy tips. All right. Okay, so we're going to applique this on. So we're probably going to cut right about here. Here. I'm 
and we will sew that onto a piece of fabric. Now, on the behind, we will use the back side. We're going to cut that off to get the gathers out of there. There we go. Nice and flat. And we will rough cut a single block. Might. Yes, I can. I can applique. I have to cut this elastic off, though. That's the one thing. To make that way flat. But I think we can sew it right onto another piece of fabric. And blanket stitch it on. Oh my goodness. These are not very big either. So I'm going to hang on to those. Cute little top, lots of fabric. You can get two pieces out of this probably. So we're going to cut this down the side as well. There we go. And we'll probably just let me press this one flat. Use this as just a piece of fabric. And it's got a lining. I think I'll separate that because it's got that little piece of eyelet on it. Might be able to use that for something else. we can get another block. We can get at least two pieces out of this. Go down those side seams. And we'll kill, bring in that little flower. the little stack here. Well, we know we have to use a little design. Those sleeves aren't going to work. Get those off of there. Get two blocks out of it. Okay. 
right, gives us two pieces. This has, I'm going to have to cut this down the side because on the back we have the button down, which will get in the way if we try to use that for the back block, or, you know, use the back for a block. So we're going to have to cut a little lower to make it usable. But in order to do that, we have to cut the side seam skin to open it up. it in the center somewhere. And there we go. There's a block. And we got the back. See it had the cute buttons, but that will definitely get in the way of the quilting and we've got a nice chunk of fabric down here. So we'll use that. Smell my chicken cooking in the crock pot. All right, this has no buttons on the back, so we can cut them both at the same time. We definitely want to include the little embroidery. So we have to go down a little bit and we'll cut it. off because it's real chunky, very thick, and we have two blocks. Okay, right. no buttons, and we'll get two blocks out of the center again. So you may have to include a little piece of the sleeves. What I do is cut it just below the, the uh, binding on the neckline. And come down a little bit. Cut on either side, just outside our true cutting line. And there we go. And we have two blocks. No buttons. Sweet chicky. That's cute too. This one, we'll do the same thing. There we go. Two blocks. And this one does not have any snaps or anything in the back. Or buttons. Or there it is. Necklines are about the same. Let's see if we can get a block in there. We can do it. It's going to be tight, but we can do it. Do the same thing with this one. I think we can. It's funny because you could, that's when you see when these things are not really truly centered. Because if it was centered, it would be right here. See how off it is? It's on the sleeve there and not on the sleeve there. So I'm going to do it that way because I think it'll just look like I made a mistake if I don't center it. Oh, a 
a blanket. Oh, a nice size blanket. Okay, we can get a lot out of this. I'm going to use my big ruler. Cut this edge off. And since this ruler is the same size as this ruler, but longer, I'm going to use it. I'm going to drop it down a little bit so it's rough cut. We can just cut it into strips. We have slip that over there. I'll get two out of this. So we just got four blocks, and we're going to get four more. I'm going to Trim this, oops, this fold line just a touch. Eight blocks. So we're going to get about 16 blocks out of this. Perfect. Sixteen blocks of fabric out of that. Perfect. There might even be more. And here's another one. And if when you all are replaying this or whatever and you can't hear me very well, please let me know. It's like you feel like you're talking to yourself, so you're not quite sure how long to, or how loud to talk. And um, so I just want to make sure that you can actually hear me. So just let me know. Like we're going to get a good amount out of this one too. Oh boy, a hat. I have to think about that one. Get two blocks out of this. See one on the back side too. Got a little B on the bottom. So we're going to cut this one up the side so we can use both.
Sydney. Sydney. Alexa, make an announcement. What's the announcement? Sydney, I think Carrie needs to go outside and go potty. Announcing. Sydney, I think Carrie needs to go outside and go potty. There we go. We can get most of it in there. Our dog stays excited. I say ours. It's her dog. It's her service dog. He, um, if he hasn't seen you for a few minutes, like he's been asleep in the living room, he, when he sees you, he will grin from ear to ear like he hadn't seen you in a week. It's crazy. He does it every time. And if he's been in his crate, like we go somewhere and don't take him, when we come back, he comes out of that crate like it's a fresh new day. Every cut and picking time. And he makes us laugh every day. Uh-oh. I think he's trying to tell you something. Alright, this one has that little loop in the back, so we won't be able to cut at the same time. We'll have to cut it down the side again and cut them separate. So we don't cut in the wrong spot on the other side. We'll get this little cupcake. Just another one that's kind of off center, but that's okay. And we're going to rough cut it. There we go. There's the front, and then we'll use the back side. We had to do it in a different location because this little U down here, or neckline. These are a little bit more tedious than making the adult size ones. First off, adult clothes are much bigger. And it's usually pretty you know, pretty good because you can get a lot out of each sleeve. You can get, um, then you've got your front, and of course your back is usually solid without any fancy things on it. Oh goodness, this one's tiny. All right, we're going to put that in the weight pile. And... There's just so much more to work with quickly. You don't have to do as much thinking. <clears throat> I forgot to check the back. That is good. We'll be able to get two pieces at one time with this one. And remember, we're only rough cutting, so. When you press them and get them stabilized, they will look and feel like little blocks of just perfect little fabric to work with, and it makes it so easy. Not a little one, but I think this one will be fine. Yeah. And there's nothing, nothing on the back. And just make it good and flat. So there's a lot of a lot of waste with these, but oh dear. All right, that's a whole nother. So they have cute pockets. So we're gonna have to open this one up. the block on each side so it's going to have a seam but I'd rather have a seam than no pocket Yeah, 
have to use the pocket. It's cute. Mm -hmm. They're in my purse on that outside pocket. Might even be able to get another block out of this. Alright. Yeah, it looks like I might be able to get a third one out of this just because the way it happened. Oh, perfect. Like it was, like it was just sitting there waiting for me. Anyway, I think we'll end this here. You can see what I'm going through, and I've got a huge tub to go through. Let me show you the tub. And I barely put a dent in it. So this is going to take me the rest of the day at least. And then when I start to stabilize, we'll have another video showing exactly what I do to stabilize and then recutting the blocks, and then they're nice firm square blocks, not rough cuts. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this and get you an idea of what you can do with your baby clothes or your adult clothes or anything like that and what it takes and what it involves in making these. So if you have any questions, just make comments below and please like and subscribe and share my video. See you all soon.